Youth 2018 Christmas Concert Bands, which are comprised of students from, the, from Jim Satterfield Middle School and from Trousdale County High School. My name is Melissa Lurch, and I'm one of the assistant band directors this year. And now I would like to introduce another one of our assistant band directors, Mr. Paxton. This must be set for Mr. Jones, because Ms. Lurch, Ms. Lurch and I are kind of up here. That's all right. We, uh, we're glad you're here. We thank you for being here. Um, you may have noticed that the band came out without any adult supervision, got themselves seated, got themselves tuned up, and, uh, and waited for, for the conductor to come out. And that's what we hope that the music program, what our band is helping our students do, is to become self-sufficient, to become self-disciplined, and to be able to um, to take care of stuff on their own, it's not that we, we ignore them, but, but to be able to become young men and women that are capable of achieving much, and we're very proud of them. You may have recognized our first piece. It came from a, a movie called Somewhere in My Memory was what the piece was from Home Alone. You'll recognize our second piece as well. It's also from an a animated movie. Um, and please notice the difference in style. It's important that our musicians are able to do different kinds of styles of music. The first one was a, a nice legato, nice sweet and sappy song. This one, not so much. And it, of course, uh, you're a mean one, Mr. Grimm. Our next selection is a cartoon Christmas and it will be conducted by Mr. Jones. Thank you all for coming out tonight. I think this really doesn't need much introduction. You'll know all the songs in this and if you want to sing along, feel free.
Thank you very much. Um, our next piece is a very challenging piece. It is written for a very hard high school like college. Uh, we've introduced this a few years ago. I'd like to introduce a good friend of mine who is a math teacher here, but he is uh, he graduated as a band director and he also uh, is an excellent math teacher here at the high school. And uh, he's been a great help to me personally and an asset, a very strong Christian man, Mr. Kanan Bowman. I'm also proof that um, we have man directors of all sizes. Um, there is no hot requirement uh, to wave this baton around up here. All right. Hope you enjoy this next piece titled Sleigh Ride. It should be uh, familiar to you. They made it sound so easy, and uh, it is not. <laughs> that is uh, the second most challenging, maybe third that the high school has ever played. And for the seventh and eighth graders, this is one of those mind-blowing experiences. Um, but one of the reasons that we've gotten better through the years is we do not shy away from challenging kids to play harder parts. Um, it's just like if you're going to lift weights, you slowly increase the reps and you. The weight, and that's kind of what we're doing. 
Um, I think uh, Dr. Satterfield might call it rigor. We have a lot of rigor now, along with some of the fun lighter pieces as well. Um, I wanted to take this moment to introduce a couple of important people in the band program. First of all, a few years ago, we started an elite unit. Um, and in my mind, it's, it's like if we have a baseball team, a softball team, football team, band, we also have a security detail, which is a band within a band. It's to me almost a separate thing now. They audition for it. They, they frankly work throughout the year for it. It's a points-based system. Um, and it's the leaders. They self-select their own leaders because these are the ones that have risen to the top. They're the best at their scales. They're the best at the physical part, the marching part. There's a lot of things. They have really good attendance. Um, and so they, they have become the leadership team. And um, being security detail, they are servant leaders. Uh, they also many times help clean up the banner, clean up the bus, um, cart things back and forth. But I wanted to recognize, these are the, this is the leadership team that um, helped design the show and had a very important hand. These are, for, the, for lack of a better term, assistant coaches and their high school students. If you are a security detail, please stand up. Let's give them a hand. So, they, we meet um, regularly. We met weekly during the summer. We met uh, almost nightly during band camp. We met during the fall. Um, we also, the, the exchange of ideas, uh, is some of the things you might have liked that uh, we did with our, as an example, with our drum break. Well, as an example, I, I wrote some of the drill for it. It's super simple. But Molly O'Connell, the field commander, added some moves to it. People like Caleb Hendricks, who's a percussionist, added some what we call GE to it. We all, it's a collaborative effort. And like I said, it, uh, it starts with uh, just really good kids. And it, it, one of the things about our success, uh, it comes from the bottom up. If you're a seventh grader or an eighth grader, and you're listening to a 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th grader, that does take a little bit of maturity and, uh, because you know, you, the, you're not uh, predisposed to do that. A lot of times uh, in other schools, you might say, well, who's that 11th grader telling me what to do? Here, they just do it. And it, it helps foster um, uh, leadership, mentorship, servitude. And together, it creates a very good team. I also wanted to recognize uh, one of the top saxophone players in Middle Tennessee. Uh, he um, auditioned for Mid-State this year, which is a, the most elite honor band uh, there is, and that is Mr. Eric Lurch. We also had a participant last week in the Sumner County Tuba Christmas. Uh, one of the top tuba players, I promise you, in Middle Tennessee, and. Uh, has uh, great things in store for him, I'm pretty sure, at the University of Tennessee, Mr. Noah Cartwright. In the fall, we uh, had a special competition we went to at Bethel University. We have developed, over the last couple of years, an excellent uh, relationship with Bethel, we, we have with several uh, schools, especially Board of Regents schools in this area. We have a, a very good relationship with Austin Peay State University, sent a lot of people there. Bethel has come calling on us because of the success that they've seen fostered we have in Middle Tennessee. I called it the invasion of West Tennessee, but that's exactly what it was. We went to West Tennessee. Uh, we came away meeting all the small bands there in the small division. Um, they made history this year, the marching band, and, and we'll mention uh, that uh, a little bit later. But the Bethel trip was so important because we came away with two more scholarship offers. And uh, I want to let you know that the two seniors, since uh, 2003, all of our seniors have received at least one scholarship offer. We have multiple scholarship offers for 
Noah Cartwright and Caleb Hendricks in the amount of over $144,000. I will say one more thing about the Bethel trip that made it so awesome is that when we uh, uh, we got adjudicated by the same three, actually the same judges, they just happened to use the same out-of-state judges panel. So the Central States judging, we employed a lot of the suggestions they made over the week before we went to state, which helped in our final outcome and state immensely. One of the most important trips that we've taken in quite a while. Um, I also wanted to recognize Philip Grant and McKenna Reed, who are our latest members of the uh, Vanderbilt University Blair School of Music. Uh, these two go weekly in the Youth Repertory Orchestra. Um, we have had a relationship with Vanderbilt for years now, and they are the latest. There's the Kirby Symphony, there's the Philharmonia, and this year we're very proud to say that we have got people uh, to continue that tradition in the uh, Nashville Repertory Orchestra, and I got to see their concert Sunday, and it was excellent. Um, did want to mention last year's seniors. We had five. All five are in a university somewhere. Three of them are on scholarship or stipend. Um, Caroline Guffey at the University of Tennessee. Uh, J.P. Angel at Bethel University uh, with a $40,000 scholarship, and uh, Lydia Zarchansky at Austin Peay State University. Uh, so we have a very good track record, and I do want to let you know that there is a there is a reason we do this, and that, and, and besides, you know, music in and of itself is a great reason to do things. But I also wanted you to know that the investment we believe is worth it. Um, one other little thing. The uh, the Christmas tree. I saw a purple Christmas tree about three weeks ago at Walmart. It was only thirty dollars. So I thought, hey, you know, we put it in the band room, and then I left Monday. I, I told the kids, hey, just fluff it up a little bit because I've got to go take up money at middle school ball game. When I came back, that had happened to it. Um, <laughs> if you really get close to it, it's a broken drumstick, broken clarinet pieces, broken mouthpieces, broken reeds. I'm possibly functional alto sax neck, I'm not asking. A couple of real ornaments on there. This is what happens when you leave band kids. They weren't even alone. I put Miss Davidson with them, which is the mistake I know I shouldn't have made. <laughs> and Miss Davidson could not be here tonight because she is also, they have a practice for their church musical. So, uh, but we'll give her a pass because as may, most of you know, but some of you may not, that she is pregnant. Uh, she and Mr. Davidson with their first child, and uh, they'll be giving birth in the second semester. And uh, she'll find out fairly soon whether or not it's a boy or girl. So, um, to introduce this next piece, this is a great five piece, so it's actually a little bit harder uh, than the uh, sleigh ride, but. Uh, I think it's kind of easier than what Mr. Bowman had because it's a lot of Christmas carols. Leroy Anderson took many traditional American Christmas carols, secular and sacred, put them all together in one piece. It's played by the Boston Pops every year. You will hear this on the radio on 92.9 over and over. Um, this is our rendition of a Christmas festival.
All right, the next part of our program, we do a little bit of a gift exchange. So if Ms. Bowles would come up.